Without foreground interest, not a lot of people are interested in your story. So let's look at why foreground interest continues to be such a valuable compositional tool. Adorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson, where you'll learn unique and creative techniques that will elevate your photography skills. Here's your host, Brian Peterson. One of the most common questions I get when it comes to composition is, Brian, why do you think immediate foreground interest is so important? Well, the answer is really simple. I want to invoke viewer participation in my photographs. When that picture hits the screen or it hangs on the wall, I want the person looking at that to feel as if they are part of that whether they are feeling it, whether they are touching it, whether they are smelling it, they honestly feel as if they're there. And you cannot do that effectively when it comes to wide angle lens landscape photography, in my opinion, without the aid of immediate foreground interest. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson and I'm the author of Brian Peterson's Field Guide to Understanding Composition. I'm here on the jewel of the islands of Georgia Jekyll Island, and I've got a friend of mine, Barbara Marie Krauss, who's a wonderful photographer, lives nearby on another island. She's been to be my jogger for this morning's photograph. Barbara, come on ahead. As she jogs through here, notice this first photograph right there. Take a look at that shot, and I want you to really think about it for a moment and ask yourself, why does this photograph work? Not that it does, but maybe you think it does. Sure, I planned it in such a way that she'd have a bright colored t-shirt on. That was deliberate. What I also wanted you to notice, though, is that there is really no immediate foreground in this photograph. As a result, it has a very snapshot appeal to it. How are we going to improve this? Let's find out. All I've done is move in much, much closer to this large uprooted tree and now I'm using all of the roots of this tree that you see right here as a foreground. To make this photograph work in terms of overall sharpness I'm using f22. My usual setting the focus distance scale at one meter as you can see right here. I'm at a full frame D800 camera. I'm at 17 millimeters of my Nikkor 17 to 35 millimeter lens. All that we have to do now is bring our jogger on through and again notice the difference as you'll see here momentarily. Come on through Barb. And at the right moment we are going to shoot her now. Take a look and look at the difference between these two photographs side by side. The difference is clear. Immediate foreground interest evokes a greater sense of viewer participation. That's really all there is to it, and that explains why I constantly search out immediate foregrounds in my wide angle landscape work. Here are some more examples where immediate foreground interest was key to the success of the overall composition. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson reminding you, you keep shooting. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.